All right, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to paint a canvas back decoy. So first things first, we've got a red. Make sure this this decoy alone's been uh, power washed, clean, wiped down, and scraped. Make sure all the paint's off of it. Uh, you definitely don't want to paint over dirt. It's not gonna hold very well. But if you have to. So here's red. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. Alright, there you go. There's the head. Now we're going to take black, we're going to mist the head, kind of tone that red down just, just a hair, a little much. That desired canvas back red, there we go. I like to put a little streak right down the head, personal perspective I guess, I don't know. I like to, that's why. Alright. There you go. There's the head. We're going to let that dry, we're going to come back, and we're going to paint the white. Alright, now that we let that dry for a little bit, we're going to take the white, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint all of this breast section. I like to lay it on thick. We're gonna let it dry anyways, so it'll be all right. It won't fade into the black or anything. Flip them. Right. Very cheap decoy. Uh, commercial fisherman again. As you've seen on my last video, he uh, bought them for all of his lines and everything, all of his trout lines and hoop nets and all that, and uh, just had a bunch of extra laying around and asked me if I wanted to, when we went out to scout ducks, if I wanted to come over and check them out, possibly buy some off of them, and I did, and I paid a buck a duck, so... Here we go, as you heard on the last video. So we're going to let this dry, and I'll be back. All right. All right, I'm back. I let it dry for about five minutes. It's not all the way dry, but it's good enough. I'm not worried. Now, we're on to the black. I'm going to take the black. We're going to do all of the breast, or the very front of the breast, and we're going to go ahead and do the tail. And we're going to do the beak, too. All right, hang in there with me. You see them little black splatters? It's all right. We're going to come back. We're going to fix that. No big deal. Don't sweat it. Don't freak out. Throw the decoy away and have an emotional breakdown. Life's not over. Alright, we're going to come down here. We're going to hit up the tail. Doesn't have to be a lot. Um, I just like a nice little bit on the tail. Just enough to kind of do a different contrast on it, you know. So when they're coming in, they can see that they're still black, just not over dominating black, and that white will really draw their attention. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. We're gonna do some touch-ups, and uh, then we're gonna come back and do the beak, of course. All right. All right, lucky for you, we're back. All right, now it's just time for just a little bit of touch-ups. Ain't none too crazy. Just having a little fun with it. I bought this uh, 
fight at Walmart. God, it's junk. I'll tell you that. He's spurting out and everything else. Look at that. Terrible. Terrible. Alright. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do the black. Alright, now we're back. I just kind of want to hit the beak all the way up to a little into his face is alright. I wouldn't go too much. Too much might take away from that little bit of red you got on there. Make sure you uh, get underneath the beak. I don't know why, just, I think it makes it look a lot better. It's personal perspective again. All right, Oops, see, I didn't let it dry long enough. Runs came back, and there you go. Right there, you got you a canvas back decoy. Cost about six bucks at Walmart and they look great in the spread you'll never even know um good luck guys have a good year uh like this share it anything do whatever the heck you guys want to do i really don't care all right thanks